Hey guys, while I have my Dyson V7 here, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple videos while I can. I'm going to show you how to maintain your Dyson V7 and really V8. It's pretty much the same, aside with the slight variation with the cleaner head. So, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing, make sure that you're emptying your bin. You need to make sure that you empty your bin when it reaches the max full line. So, empty your bin and clean your seals. There's a seal here that's important and there's a rubber seal in here i'll show you how to clean that in a moment you want to make sure that those are clean next you want to make sure that your screen is clear to do that you're just going to lift up and this red button here there's going to be a red button on either side you can just press one of them push it in and then lift up that will pull this out so although this uh, does have a self-cleaning shroud. Some stuff can build up, and there is just a couple hairs. You want to make sure you clean those off. There's a seal up here. You really want to make sure that you get the seal clean. And same for this seal over here. And you also want to tap out your cyclone. That is important every once in a while. Just to tap that out or vacuum that out or blow that out uh, to make sure that nothing really builds up in there. Next, you want to wash your filters. You want to wash your fil uh, filters about once a month, depending on usage. This one doesn't get used super often, and they have not been washed since it was brand new in November. So you have two filters, or if you have the motor head, you will only have one. But regardless, you'll have a pre-motor filter. You just grab it and pull out. If it's stiff, you can kind of like get your nail under there and pull it out. There we go. Here is your pre-motor filter. You want to make sure you wash this and make sure it's completely dry before you put it back together. If it's really dirty, you can pry these tabs up and then it'll separate and you can wash it that way. And make sure that this seal is clean. Then your post-motor filter. You're just going to twist to the left and you may not have this, um, but most of you will. So this post-motor filter should not be super dirty, um, but if it is dirty, you can go ahead and wash this, tap this out. And also I recommend tapping out this filter um, uh, frequently. So yeah, tap out both filters and wash them frequently. And uh, if this gets, if either of these filters get so bad, Replacements are so cheap, so you can do that as well. So, uh, that is pretty much all the maintenance you need to do on this. Next up, the cleaner head. So the cleaner head, there isn't a lot you need to do. Uh, pretty much everything you need to do is just the brush roll. So, you can just flip it over and cut hair off of the brush roll or pull hair off of the brush roll. If you would like, you can remove it with a coin or a key. You just stick it in the little cross part here and turn left just a little bit and it will pull out this. And then you can also pull off this end of the brush roll. This one does not seem to want to come off. There we go. Never been done before. So there we go. Clean this off, make sure that there's no hair in the bearing, make sure that there's no hair on these bristles, make sure your bristles are clean. Then you can clean in here, clean down here, some buildup of dirt might get stuck in there. And to clean back here, uh, you can't really do it on the V8, you kind of just have to stick your finger back there, but on the V7, there is a little, another one of those half turn screws. You just do that and then this will come off. This gives you easy access to this and in here to remove any blockages, and you can clean this off, of course. It'll be dusty because this is what cleans your floors. So uh, that's pretty much it for that, and then you can clear this window. You don't have to, but I recommend just wiping out that window, making sure that's clear. Don't get any of these parts wet other than just wiping it off with a damp cloth. Uh, then attachments, really, there isn't a lot you need to do. Um, make sure that this red strip is in place. And um, make sure that your bristles are, cl are clean. 
And the crevice tool, you don't need to do anything to this. This will be fine. You can wipe it off if it's dusty. Uh, same for this. This is fine too. Make sure that your electrical connections are good. That's the only thing I can really say about that. Uh, so yeah, if you have the mini motorized tool, it will come apart the same as this, just a little uh, half turn on the side. Just a little half turn on the side and it will pull the brush roll out so you can get that out for the mini motorized tool if you have it. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of it. That's all the maintenance you need to do. And I just broke that down in five minutes. So really easy to maintain these machines. They are great machines and I highly recommend them because they just work so well and are really uh, good for quick pickups. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please give this video a like and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.